Hi, Eric. Welcome back to Bernardus Winery in Bernardus Lodge. Um, we're here in the winery right now. I wanted to explain a little bit about how we uh, work here. Mr. Pan always insists that we do the very, very best possible wines. Uh, we make use the best fruit possible in California. We also invest in the very best barrels. I only buy French oak barrels, um, European oak in general, uh, no American oak here. Uh, one of the things Mr. Pond told me when I first came here, which was six years ago now, was uh, that he only wanted to make the very best, and uh, he supplies me with anything I want, and so I've been very, very happy to work here for him. Uh, he's a wonderful man to work for. Um, the, uh, my background was uh, I started in Burgundy. I went to school, university in Burgundy, and studied enology and viticulture, and uh, worked for seven years in Burgundy for various uh, Burgundian producers making Chardonnays and Pinot Noirs. Um, since I've been here in California um, the last 20 years, I've been working for a lot of different wineries before I came to Bernardus, um, but I, I'm very, very happy at Bernardus now because Mr. Pond is the first, first winery owner to ever tell me that I can do anything I need to do to make the very best wines possible and whatever investment I need I can have. So uh, I've never heard that from anyone before, so I've been very, very happy here. My, our philosophy here is to ferment stainless steel for Sauvignon Blanc to retain all of the bright, crisp, natural, fruity aromas and flavors of the grape. Um, after it's fermented at cold, cold temperature in stainless steel with no oak at all, I bring it into this room and we store it in these large, upright Bordeaux tanks. Mr. Pond had these made for us 20 years ago when we started the winery. Um, they were made, fabricated in Bordeaux and then brought over and assembled here by the Coopers from Bordeaux. Uh, they're excellent storing storage containers because they don't have, um, they're not as hermetically sealed as stainless steel. They actually allow the wines to breathe a little bit. They get a little bit of oxygen this way and they, it helps produce richer, more complex wines without adding any oakiness at all since they are older in neutral tanks. We also store some of our marinas in these tanks once they've been fermented and barrel aged in small 60 gallon cooperages from uh, Bordeaux and Burgundy, then we bring that for the last couple of months to store into these tanks so that the flavors combine and become richer and more complex before we bottle the wines. We zijn hier uh, bij uh, Gary Pizzoni, wat een uh, grote vriend, persoonlijke vriend van me is. Uh, die uh, heeft het uh, beste Pinot Noir uh, fruit in heel Amerika verbouwd. Die. En die is zo aardig om mij uh, zijn fruit te verkopen. En daar maken wij uh, topwijnen van. Explain me, please. Oké, okay, well, what I will say is, I love Holland, first off. And uh, welcome to Pizzoni Vineyards. And Ben Pond's been a dear friend of mine for many years. And I've been growing grapes since 1982. And I really sell, well, I keep the best fruit for my sons, um, my son, the Pizzoni Vineyards, and also my other best stuff is for Ben Pond. Because Dean is the winemaker, and he's right over here. Maybe you want to come over here real quick. <laughs> well, anyway, and Matt's a great grower. But anyway, the thing is, is they make a wonderful Pinot Noir. Unbelievable. When you taste it, you go crazy. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Cheers. You're welcome anytime here. It's a big pleasure. I wine. Yeah, they're very good. Yeah, yeah. They work for 